I miss this time. Enlighten me. Braindance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, yeah. so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. Why my boy V sound like that when he said it? And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky looking for evelyn parker she work here hmm give me a moment Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. <sighs> I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. You won't find any use Sad. for weapons inside. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess then. Hi, I'm Sky. 
And you must be Vincent? Welp, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. Oh no, that's not fear. That is, uh... Oh, never, never mind. That is fear. You're right. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Not about to have this conversation with you. Ah. Uh, a hard shell for everyone to see. You think even thinking about it undermines you. Makes you soft. Don't survive in Night City by being weak. Fear isn't a weakness. It's there to protect you. From what? Losing myself? Becoming a stranger in my own body? You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since, or for what's to come. What's past is past. I'm over it. You're in denial, don't you see? Would it change things even by a hair if I wasn't? So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through night city knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab but that's never stopped you from taking action going where you needed to go and it won't stop you now but how do we keep up with everything that's changing you have the emergency break rip me out just to talk yeah that seems like something I would need to do so yeah what happened I do something wrong 
Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Barjan, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. Okay, how are you gonna take a long pause like that, though? You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. The customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Wow, Do really called her out her name. <laughs> Not bad, but it would be much better here. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there! From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll say. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. <sighs> Dude fluttered up on me like he was about to do something. Wait a minute. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind if I snap your neck? Whoops. Did it anyways. Oh, yeah. I hope you don't mind if I take all your stuff, too. Let me take your dead body to the garbage can. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. 
Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be oh, Woodman finally shed some impressive. light on this shit show? Man can <laughs> yeah, only dream. I have that bike. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh, <laughs> that's what they should be replacing. <laughs> I'm good. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Uh, can we? No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would ya? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you whores here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Had a look at the menu here and know. You don't look a thing like these meat puppets. More like a Joy Boy's cum rag. You... insolent fuck. Well, 
Well, aren't you the king of fuck -up? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his comp? That just my work. Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. Run! Keep moving! Run! Run! Run like the wind! Go the other way! Also, sorry for the turnaround. I got turned around by room two! Yeah. I'm required to return your weapon. work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? I think Fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTC. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Klaus won't forget this. Condition to find help. Without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue man, Ah, fuck! What the hell's that? Hey, you guys ready to get the fuck out of here? No, no, damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See me and Arasaka. We got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Listen, kind of honor I know actually. things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? 
You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alta Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Look, I don't want any trouble. Just let me through. Pretty please. How about you pretty please me? <laughs> all right, all right. Go on. Well, that was extremely easy. Hey, hand up! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mocked in town depends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Up and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Made it all the way here, huh? Must really want to talk to Evelyn. But you do. That shit has a name. Something around. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. What are you even doing here, Judy? Same thing as you. Looking for Evelyn. Mean to say, this whole time you knew Evelyn wasn't at Clouds. Who do you take me for? Why would I lie about something like that? Because you don't trust me. You're right, I don't. But that doesn't make me a liar. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Fingers. Where'll I find him? He's operating on somebody right now. Been in there for ages. Shouldn't be much longer. Don't hold your breath. I spent hours waiting for him to come out. Especially when he collects payment right after the procedure. <laughs> I need to talk to him. It's important. You think we're just here to polish our nails, huh? I'll let you cut in front of me. Open those luscious You're a real pain in my cleat, Mitz. You know that? And you, might as well hmm. knock and find out when he's mopping up. About now? Supposed to be a goddamn yeah. clinic, Wait, not in any of your blonde red. Go on now, don't before. you worry about her. Face plates previous Come on, owner let's had go. a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's adjust. done. We going in? Eventually.
Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. What about your logs? You gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You're scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. I mean, hey, look on the bright side. I could have ended your life right there. I let her go back to clouds. I could have stopped her, but I didn't. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. We get it together. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. What's up with you? You will tell him what you told me. 
the truth of events at Konpiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Got a better idea. Matter of fact, I do. A domain called Pleasures of Night City. There's a twin of it on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. I think I've got a better idea. Saw a smut shop on Jig Jig Street. All kinds of stuff there. Think you might find a death's head? I can't hurt to try. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Use your imagination. Why do you think I... Looking for, uh... Something special. A brain dance to really... You mean... Smut? Nah, more... Hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street. Has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. No. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See? Wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War. Or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. What are you looking for? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Hey, V. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. Want you to describe what you see. Might catch something at least.
good to go. Dig around all you want. Poor fucker. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. <sighs> Electric Corp patch in the coveralls. Besides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Roger's logo. Coffee was cold. Like, okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a so? bucket slice. Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, big which is not something Charter someone Hill. does for the flavor and the fresh Bucca ingredients. Out too. Pizza shares its Something DNA with Styrofoam. I'm just gonna slap across town for it. Oh no, not no, two characters God. speaking at the same time. You know we're not doing that no. here. Shit like that before. Sounds like scavs to me. Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Here we go. Old Electric Core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. <laughs> 